Rise and shine, my people. Welcome back to another video. This is Evan Aga at the Astrophysique. Of course, as always, you already knew that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, just getting ready for the gym right now, just about ready. I'm gonna head out of here in just a minute or two. You saw me in my morning routine. I woke up early, 6 a.m., got to work, checked in with my clients, worked on some content, followed up with some prospects, all that good stuff. So. Got a head start on the day. I'm definitely feeling great about that. Had a cup of coffee as well. Now I'm about to go downstairs, make another cup of coffee because we need that morning Joe for the gym. And then I'm picking up Corey and we're about to go hit chest at Alpha Land. So I'll see you there. By the way, this video is going to be a little bit different. Make sure you stick around till the end. Today is September 30th, AKA the last day of the month. We are quickly approaching October and the end of the year as well. So there are a couple things I want to say, a couple things I want to talk about towards the end of the video. Stick around to the end, and I promise you won't regret it. Oh man, look at Corey! I'm just so white. Look at that fading oh, away. See, no, there he goes. He's into the, in. into the He's... pale sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> we have just arrived. I'm actually looking pretty pale too. We have just arrived here at Alpha Land. Today is chest day. We have not hit chest so far this week, so this is uh, something that we're both excited for, right, Corey? Indeed so. <laughs> Indeed so. After the gym, I actually need to go to the body shop where my Tesla is at, so I'll bring y'all with me and show you the progress that has not been made on my car yet. That's uh, that's a whole other conversation, honestly, for another day, probably another video. <laughs> anyway, we're about to go in there right now, stretch, get warmed up. I don't have my mic, that's what I wanted to mention. I don't have my dead cat or my mic, the fuzzy thing that you put on top of the camera, so my... Uh, Talking will probably be at a minimum since the music's really loud in there and it's not going to pick up my voice efficiently. So, uh, we can scream. Cue the montage in three, two, one. Shoot for the stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. We haven't even worked out yet, and this guy's already flushing. I'm already pumped. You ready to rock, boss? So, we hit legs pretty hard yesterday, which is why it's extra important to get these stretches in. Corey, are you even sore? My ass. The Bulgarian squats. Yeah, those were tough. And the leg press, those are the hardest for me. <laughs> There is a certain way to set up the leg press that people 
usually avoid because it is the hardest way to set it up. Pretty much just lowering the back pad as much as possible. That way you get a full range of motion. But again, it, it makes the movement much harder. You can't necessarily do as much weight. So that's why people don't do it. We're ready to go? Indeed. Let's go. One more warm up set, and then we're going in. We're in a new gym today. It's not for no reason. I'm gonna find a spot. I'm just gonna ask somebody in the gym for a spot so that I can be extra safe and Corey can record and get the clip as well. So now it's just a matter of deciding who is worthy of spotting me. We'll ask this guy. We will see.
at the body shop where my Tesla is being held hostage. Now we're about to go inside and see what the situation is. Oh, we do not have room. Let me go first. I talked to a Snapchat yesterday. Yeah, I saw the pictures they said they wanted. Okay, so, I sent you an email, so I just wanted to say. Yeah, I saw it. They got me an email, but, you know, I got to go back in and first take photos and send it back up, so which I will this morning. This guy's famous. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> so, I'll take care of you, man. Don't worry. All right, man. So, let me... Made it back from the gym, made it back from the body shop. I got some work to go ahead and jump into right now. Also got to take a shower, so I'll see you in a sec. Awesome. Okay, so talk to me, man. How have things been over the past week? Uh, it's been great. Um, new PRs, um, just being able to make it to the gym. Uh, I was 159.4 yesterday, measured, and then I weighed in again today. I'm at 160.4. So, my man, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's a huge milestone. That's one of the big goals that we had, right? First, it was 155. You smashed that. Now, what are we at, man? What can, what comes after 155? 160, bro. Uh, that's 160 what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. That was this morning, you said? Yeah, I was just woke up. Right on, man. Dude, remind me where you started, bro, in the very beginning. 139.8. <laughs> 139.8 now up to uh, 160 here in uh, really really just over three months. That's absurd. Yeah. That's amazing, yeah, dude. Okay, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It is over three months. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, we have quite a bit to unpack in that case, man. Tell me about some of the PR, some of the highlights from this week. Um, hit new hack squat PRs. I hit 375 or 360 something like that. I was at 15. Um, what else? Some what chest. Else, Any chest? Um, oh, I I did a new I think I did it in the, in the past before, but in terms of like just this three these three months, um, I my my incline bench press, I increased it by uh, twenty. So twenty pounds, you said? I was at one, I did 135 before I did, I did 155 the other day. I hear you, I understand you, and I definitely see the, the question that you're uh, posing here. And pretty much I think what it comes down to is just uh, you have to decide or you have to know how heavy you want to go. And you have to adjust your warm-up sets accordingly. You know, so let's say, for example, you know that you're going to go for a top set of 80. And let me know if I'm on track here with the question that you're asking. I just want to make sure that I'm explaining this right. Uh, don't want to be too confusing either. But let's say that your top set is going for 80, right? And you know that prior to going into the workout. You would choose to do either, you know, one, two, or up to three warm-up sets. I think if it was me with that top set weight, I would opt for two warm-up sets and the way that I would structure it would be like this. Of course, after you take time in the beginning to stretch and whatever, after you've done that first exercise, which is more of an activation exercise, right, before you have your big compound exercise, pretty much how I'd structure the warm-up sets is start off with half of the weight that you want to use for your top set. Again, if you're going for 80, then yeah. do your first warm-up set with 40s, right? Rep that out. Go for the feeling. You know, Get comfortable with the feeling. Get comfortable with the motion. That's half of the weight of your top set. So should be pretty simple, should be pretty easy. Only when you start getting above like 90s to 100s, then you might wanna start off a little bit lower than half, right? But for 80s or for 75s even, 50% of the weight for just rep it out. You know, feel, do it until it feels good, pretty much. Then your second warm up set needs to be somewhere around like I would say 70 to I would say like 70 to 75 percent right of their top set so again if we're using 80 as an example here um, that would be 60s that would be 60s yeah that's that that actually works out perfectly um hit the 60s but don't do any more than five or six reps don't do any more than that and I was explaining this to somebody else the other day so this is actually a great question 
Um, don't do any more than five or six reps because you don't want to do too much. It's still a warm up set. The only reason you're even hitting that is so that you can acclimate yourself before you know jumping into uh, yeah. the heavyweight. You you're only trying to acclimate yourself to the motion with slightly heavier weight at a time. You know what I mean? Yeah. The first yeah, set is you acclimating thing. yourself to the motion. The second set is you acclimating yourself to the motion plus a little bit of weight. I would say that as you get more into kind of the nuances and the details of your fitness journey, that's when stuff like this really comes up and these questions come up kind of along the journey, along the way. And I think you asking these questions or these conversations even happening is just, uh, you know, just another positive sign of your growth and your development and your fitness journey. Oh, yeah. You're, you're maturing for sure in, in this game. Yeah, I, 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 I'm getting the body back to be able to ask these questions. So. <laughs> right on, man. Right on, right on, right on. Uh, oh, yeah, because when I went to Austin this, this past week. Yeah, yeah, how was, was like, it? Went to a went to me and went paddle boarding. And, um, and uh, my buddies were like, bro, what the fuck? Like, you're massive, bro. What the hell? Would, you you, ro- you ruined it for something? What's <laughs> what? Going on over there? Like, bro, <laughs> I bro, wish bro, you bro. could... Uh, I wish you could see the smile on my face, man. Like that is, uh, seriously, man, because that is, uh, like, dude, you know, there's no denying it. You know, there's no denying the progress. There's no denying the gains. People are telling you left and right. Your homies are thinking you're saucing, you know, (laughs) I know what that feels like. Like it's a, it's a really, it's a really great feeling. And, and again, it just goes back to like, at this point now you're deep, you're pretty deep in this journey and there's no denying the progress that you've made. I remember I always say in the beginning, you know, it might be hard to notice, especially when you see yourself in the mirror every day, you're not going to notice little changes and little things, but just stick with it, you know, stick with it. Your progress will compound and you'll start to see changes on a daily basis. And that'll only be confirmed by people that you don't see every day who are going to see you and they're just going to, their minds are going to be blown. You're going to look completely different to them. And then that's going to, that's when the reality is really going to start hitting you. You know, and that's amazing. Like you wake up, you look in the mirror and you realize not only did you do it, but you are continuously doing it. Yeah. You know, that's the best part, bro. Dude, it's even, it's actually, honestly, it's getting to the point where like I'm actually noticing the differences now. Like the majority of people like don't stick with anything for that right. long, more than maybe a couple of months. Right. And, and the longer you right. stick with something, of course, the more that you become a master at it right? That's, that's the process of mastery. That's the process of, and fitness is like one of those things that you can add to your portfolio or want to, or add to your arsenal of things that you just like are automatic for you. You know, maybe, maybe the only thing people have done for the past, like two years, like make their bed, you know, which is still better than, which is still probably better than a lot of people too. I mean, I don't even make my bed all the time, but (laughs) it, it just goes to show, you know, the power of consistency, the power of sticking with something. Right, definitely. I think that's like one of the main reasons why, because like you know, like first the first few months is like habit building, but then it, you're like, is it really ingraining it? And so I'm using these next three months with you just to like make sure like I'm really ingraining these habits. Haha, <laughs> y'all saw some bits and pieces of that call that I just had with my client. That's pretty much the wave that I've been on this afternoon. Just calls after calls after calls, messages after messages. <laughs> Just taking care of business on this side. Today's Friday. I'm feeling good. We're looking good, feeling good, all the above. Just had some lunch. I know I didn't show you anything, but I had two grilled chicken sandwiches. It was just quick because I had some more calls to get back to. I've actually been super busy this week and this whole month, as a matter of fact. More on that in just a second. But right now, I'm about to get ready for the gym. I'm going to Lifetime to hit some shoulders and some triceps. And I couldn't be more excited. It's an absolutely beautiful day, and I can't wait to get out there. Rise and shine, my people. Today is a new day. As you just saw, I'm opening up a new journal as well because the last one is all filled up. Today is also October 1st, so start of the new month. We've got three months left in the year. Again, more on that in just a sec. But 
yesterday. I did not record anything later in the day. You saw the last clip. I think I said I was going to the gym. I went to Lifetime, hit shoulders and triceps. It was a great workout, but I just didn't want to record anything for the rest of the day. And it was a busy, it was a really busy day. So I had to make sure I had to make sure that I took care of business. Today is a brand new day. I'm excited. I'm waiting on Corey right now. We are going to train back and biceps. So I'll see you in a sec. Corey's going out to go to get his AirPods because he left them in the car. We are at Alpha Land, just stretching right now. We're heading back today. It's gonna be a good workout so far. The gym is not too packed, which is just what I like, but it is Saturday, so I'm sure it's gonna fill up here pretty soon. See you in a sec. Suicidal. For me, I love it. Suicidal. She getting ugly, and you know I can never sit from me. Baby girl, can I get up above me? Yeah. Your love was suicidal. Your love was suicidal. For me, your love was suicidal. Ay. To me, your love is suicidal. Ay. I thought you'd be the death of me. You took my heart and made it bleed. I gave you all my ecstasy at first. I you were heavenly Left lipstick on my hand a see Then took my heart and made it bleed I thought you'd be the death of me I thought you'd be the one for me yeah. Your love is suicidal For me your love is suicidal To me your love was suicidal Your love is suicidal I'm crashing into the mattress, turn this love to a habit Smoke this shit attracting, fake love around me, they acting Round here, baby, anything happen, just ran through 28 back ends And I move so low, no baggage, if I move around you, you cracking Cause your love was suicidal, you know that your love was suicidal You know that your love was suicidal, you know that your love is suicidal Suicidal, suicide dose, she on all fours, a lower I adore I can't let you close to me, I can't let you hold me This shit moving hopelessly, I just lost too many weeks of sleep because Suicidal, your love is suicidal Your love is suicidal Suicidal, yeah Recipes Joe's World Free Melly
Ooh, finally done. Today's been a crazy busy day of work with clients. I had calls left and right. I had programs that I was finishing up. I had clients I was checking in with. I had content to post. I just had everything going on at once. And for a Saturday is definitely not what I'm used to. Usually my Saturdays are a little bit more chill, but I'm super grateful. Of course, I can't complain at all. You know, it's crazy. Most people fold when the pressure is on. They literally fold. But I'm grateful for these opportunities because they are opportunities to grow and level up. So I want all the pressure because that just lets me know that I'm on the right track. It makes me feel like I'm growing. I can feel myself growing when the pressure is on and I'm performing. So... There's a quote that I heard sometime, somewhere. It goes like, you can't whine about having too much on your plate when your goal was to eat. Shoot for the stars. <laughs> I added that last part in, but you get the idea. I think it makes it better. Now is probably as good a time as any to get into this topic, get into this discussion that really is the whole reason that I wanted to shoot this video. Today's October 1st, 2022, and we have three months left in the year. To me, I don't know about you, but that's a little bit scary, primarily because January 1st still feels like yesterday. And it wouldn't be as scary if I was feeling more accomplished with myself this year, but unfortunately, just the way that I am, the way that my brain is wired, even with everything that I have done, even with everything that I have achieved, I still don't feel like I've done enough. And now I feel this impending sense of urgency to just go all out for these last three months and really push myself to see what I can accomplish and really shake things up in my life. That's what I want. That's what I really wanted this year. I wanted, I wanted to shake things up this year. I wanted to really make a change. I wanted to completely change my situation, not even just a little bit. I wanted to completely change my situation. And things have changed. I definitely can't lie about that. A lot of things have changed. It's been a long year, a lot of ups and downs, just like everyone says. But I just haven't done everything that I wanted. And it's that simple. And I'm just being honest and transparent with myself and with you, right? I can't sit here and talk about everything that I've done and act like I'm satisfied with it because I'm not, I'm not satisfied with it. I'm definitely proud. I've done a lot of things this year that I had never done before in my life. And I've had a lot of experiences that I'm never gonna forget. This has definitely been the best year of my life so far, but I know, I know, I know, I know deep, in the heart of Texas, <laughs> I'm just kidding, deep in my heart, I know that there's a lot more left to do this year. There's a lot more that I know I have the potential to accomplish this year. All it takes is just me deciding to do it. All it takes is me getting off autopilot in certain aspects and really setting my intention on what I want uh, because once you do that there's no going back and once you truly set your intention on something you can consider it done as long as you follow through and I feel like my intention has not been as strong during certain times of the year uh, and while it has been strong during other times I feel like I need more consistency with that. I need two, three months where I'm as focused as I can be, where I'm straight as an arrow, where I'm not getting distracted. I'm not letting myself get distracted by anything. I may have had moments like that this year where I was consistent for a week or two weeks or maybe up to a month, but that's just not enough to make the type of change that I'm going to make. Uh, it takes longer, it takes more time, it takes more time to compound, really, that, that's what it takes because when you put your head down and you focus, you can make a lot of change, right? People really overestimate what they can do in a day, underestimate what they can do in a year, right, as the saying goes, but the reason that is, is because people 
overlook the concept of compounding progress. People think they can make a big change in a short amount of time, but they don't realize that the real big change hits you when you're two, three months down and all the work that you've been putting in that you didn't see any results for in the beginning, now those results are coming to light. Now that work is coming to light and the fruit of your labor is ripe. <laughs> Again, that being said, today is October 1st, 2022. I am following a protocol made famous by, or brought to light by Mr. Iman Gadzi himself. If you know him, you know him. If you don't, you might wanna look him up on YouTube or Instagram. He makes great content. He's super successful. He's younger than I am. He's 22 years old and he's just done fabulously for himself in all regards. And I know I might not know his whole story and I am by no means comparing myself to him, but he has a practice called Monk Mode, which I highly encourage you to look into. I'm not gonna talk about the rules. I'm not gonna talk about the protocol or how it works. Uh, if you're interested, you can look it up on your own. But he brought this practice to light and he talks extensively about how much it's done for him. And it's something that I've been thinking about for too long at this point. I've been thinking about it for too long without taking action. And so these last three months of the year are the absolute perfect time for me to put this into practice for myself and really see what I can get out of it. And honestly, if I really stop and try to imagine everything that could come out of this, I quickly realize that the possibilities are infinite. And there's no telling what could happen next. And all the work that I've put in with YouTube, Instagram, with my clients, with my business, I can smash that. Everything that I've done so far in these nine months, I know that I can absolutely knock that out of the park in these last three months. I know what it's gonna take. I know that I'm gonna have to challenge myself and Hopefully this is something that I'll get to talk about more in future videos as I give you updates on how this is going for me. Right now, again, I don't wanna talk about the rules. I don't wanna talk about what I'm going to be doing specifically other than I'm just gonna be doing this monk mode. I'm going to be focusing, you know, I'm talking in a general sense. There are specific actions and specific habits that I'm taking and picking up on in order to make this as successful as it can be. And I'm not gonna talk about those things because I haven't done it yet, right? Today is day one, you know? And I'm not sitting here counting the days. I'm not gonna talk about everything that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this out there for my own accountability purposes and for y'all to look into if you might be interested. And as we go along, I'll slowly reveal more of just what this journey has been like. I'll talk more about the specific actions that I'm taking to make this all happen. But for now, I'm just putting this out there and I hope that any of you might feel inspired to take some major action for yourselves and really sprint through the finish line of this year. Because I'll say it again, January 1st felt like yesterday, but we're nine months in and 2023 is right around the corner. I just turned 24 and I get shivers, I get goosebumps just from saying that, but uh, that was so weird. It's so weird to say that. Um, time is moving and it doesn't wait. It certainly doesn't stop for anyone. Life is moving and I don't intend to miss it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Shoot for the stars.